Hallelujah. Welcome to our prayer. This is Minister Marlene, and today we are going to focus on removing the demons out of you and away from you now. Are you ready to receive a breakthrough today, a deliverance today? It is your time right now to be centered into the miracle zone with me. This is a place where miracles are normal here. I want you to realize that God sent his son to die in your place. If God will do that for you, then he will bring deliverance to you as well. So today, shut everything else off. Get involved with this prayer right now. I want you to think about the things that the enemy has been using in your life to keep you stuck, to keep you bound, to hold you down, to bring fear and hold you in a place of such demonic influence that you cannot even see a miracle in your life. You can't feel God anymore. There's a problem here when you can't feel God anymore. It's time for you to think about these things that I'm going to say right now. The devil uses sin, number one. All right, I don't know what's going on in your life. I'm just going to speak from my heart today. And if you are living in sin, if you have not repented, it's time to do that right now because you will not be set free unless you do these things. You must repent of every sin that you ever committed in your life. All right, number two, when you are holding anger and unforgiveness, the devil has you bound, all right? The other person or people are not stuck. It is on you. We are focusing on you and you alone, not them, not what they did or what they should have done. It is all on you now. It's time, even if you don't feel like forgiving them, it's time that you just say, I forgive whoever that is. Name them now. And I want you to be serious about it, right? I've seen these things happen to people where they're stuck and they're bound and they don't get healed and their money just fails and everybody is coming against them. There's breakups and divorces and separations because of unforgiveness and anger, all right, and judgment. And we have to focus on what God tells us to do, all right? If you are in financial stress, you must start donating and giving from where you are. It doesn't matter what your mind is saying, okay? It matters what the Word of God tells us to do, amen? So, we have to look at your emotional state of being as well. If you are down and complaining and in stress all the time and you're having negative thoughts that's where the devil's got you all right and then you sit there and you go how come i feel this way right it is all the enemy attacking you because he used it before and it worked so it's not going to work anymore when you say it's not going to work anymore on me i am done with that i am done with dealing with these emotional stresses, these lies of the enemy. Now, we know that the enemy comes in through the air, okay? There are spirits of the air that attack the mind, and they keep putting these negative thoughts in your head. They worked before, right? All right, now, they'll bring you down. Exactly, if you're in joy, if you're in peace, if you're celebrating, all right, the devil will come in and try to steal that moment from you. So when you notice that you are in a good mood, you're peaceful, all right, or you're about to go to bed, and then these negative thoughts start coming, sit up in bed. Sit up in bed and say, shut up, devil. Shut up, devil. And you start quoting scripture and pleading the blood of Christ over your mind over your sleep, over your dreams, over your well-being. you got to know how to pray. 
you've got to know whose voice is speaking to you. All right? There are unconscious thoughts that we have all day and all night, all right? And we don't know what's going on, why we are going through these things over and over and over again, all right? And you want a breakthrough. You want a miracle. And like I said, you can't feel God. We want you to, to focus on the Word of God, all right? No weapon formed or fashioned against me or my household shall ever prosper. Say it now. No weapon formed or fashioned against me or my household shall ever prosper, but we shall prosper. Hallelujah. I shall prosper. I am prospering. I am very prosperous. Okay? I want you to start revealing that to yourself. You need to start speaking it to yourself, writing it down. Also, the first step today, before I pray with you in agreement, okay, is to get a piece of paper. You can stop the video and come back to it after. But I want you to really do this, okay? Get a piece of paper. And I want you to write down on that piece of paper the first person's name that comes to your mind, right? The first person, only one at first. I am very angry at, write it down right now. I want you to write it down. I don't care who it is. It could be God, it could be an angel, it could be you, you could be angry at yourself, okay? I don't know. You could be angry at your mom, your dad, a sibling, a so-called friend, an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend, ex-husband. It doesn't matter, all right? I want you to write it down. I am very angry at. Write it down, all right? Don't sit there and say, I'm not angry at anybody, I forgave every. No. Say it out loud with me right now. I am very angry at the first name right there. Write it down. Let's be honest, okay? This is how you get deliverance. This is how you get a miracle, right? Forgive them, for they know not what they do, right? God forgave you and me because we did not know what we were doing, right? We were under the influence of what we learned, right? in our family, okay, and what we learned in society, okay, and most of the sin was done because we were in fear, right, fear of not enough, so we go steal and rob and do whatever, okay, yeah, fear of missing out, right, they're having fun over there, what are they doing, I don't want to do that, and you end up doing it, right, yeah, that's wrong, I know it's wrong. It's not right. And you end up doing it. Right? The devil, right, is the God of the world. And if he has used you before to sin somewhere, okay, he used somebody else to sin against you. And it keeps going and going and going. Let's stop it today. All right? I am very angry at, okay, now, underneath that, because you did this, all right, because you said this, all right, I don't care. I want you to write a letter to the soul, not to the person, to their soul, dear soul of so-and-so, I am very angry at you because, write a letter to the soul of that person right now. It's going to take you a while. Get it out. Get it out. The devil has you stuck, bound. You forgot you were angry at them. God is showing you now. You want a breakthrough? You want a miracle? This is where we start now. All right? Forgiveness. Forgive them because they know not what they do. And yes, I am repeating myself because you need to hear this over and over and over until it gets through because the devil doesn't want you to do it. He doesn't want you free. But God and I want you free. And today is the day when you get set free. When enough is enough, you'll do it. 
And after you write this letter, I want you to take the letter and put it in a pan. All right? Bring it outside and start it on fire and burn it. Then wet it and throw it in the garbage bag outside. And you will continue to do this for every soul that you are angry at. All right? If you are angry at yourself, I want you to write down, Dear soul of me, name your name, I am very upset with you. You said this. You did this. Whatever it is, all right, do the same thing. All right? As you are burning the one for yourself, I choose to forgive myself. Right here, right now, I am set free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Every one of these has a biblical reason and a word of God that I'm doing this with you right now. Right? When you are doing it for the soul of somebody else, I choose to forgive you totally and freely. I set you free now. Thank you. And you just get rid of it. All right. Those are some of the steps that you need to take to get rid of this demonic attack. All right. The demonic voices got to shut up. All right. So these are some of the steps. All right. The second thing I want you to look at is your home. In your house. What is in your house? Keeping demons there. Keeping the past there. Keeping them past alive. Look at your house. What is in your house that's from the past? That's keeping those old, you know, emotions active and alive in your home. Look around. I am not there. I don't know what's there. All right. If it's not working in your life, all right, things are not moving forward. You're still living in the past. You're still experiencing the past. This is why. There are things in your house that are still active and alive saying the past is still here. We're stuck in the past. We live in the past. We live in fear. What's in your home? All right. Look from the front door to the back. Look in the closets. Look in the drawers. Look on the walls. Start doing this. It's going to take a while. I'm telling you right now. There's no prayer in the world that's going to work instantaneously until you take action. And I am offering you today these gifts of love and guidance for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now the next step for you is to clean that mess up in your home. Get rid of the past. Get rid of the things that are sitting there on a shelf that your ex gave to you. Photos of your wedding when it's not even there anymore. You know, old boyfriend stuff, old girlfriend stuff. All right. Look at it right now. All right. Your bed that you slept in has to go. I know it's a big expense, but I'm telling you right now, it's got to go. All right. The bed is still in the past. All right. Me, myself, when I moved in this house, it was fully furnished. I pushed everything out the door. The neighbors didn't know me. They were looking over here like, what's going on over there? Who's moving in over there? You know, they're seeing furniture outside. Well, I gave it all away. And some of it was like brand new. But it had to go. And I'm like, none of their stuff is staying in my house. All right. And I go through my home almost every day or every week. And I get rid of things. I give away, you know, some things I can sell. Some things I throw away, all right? If it's broken, it's cracked, it's old, it's gone, all right? Nothing stays in this house that is not for my future. Now, let me share this quick story with you. There are two prophets of God, all right, in this home that had a church attached to it. And there was a guy who everyone was afraid of, all right? They said he was nuts and whatever, and it didn't bother me. The guy, I wasn't afraid of him or anything. So I'm in the 
house part and I'm with the lady that owns the place and we're talking as the two prophets of God, very anointed and powerful in deliverance gifts, were, you know, ministering to this man in the church. And they were trying to drive out the demons that were, you know, inside of him. And the demons were not coming out. And I didn't know I'm in the house. So, you know, the Holy Spirit prompts me. I go out into the church for a minute and they're, you know, kind of waving their arm at me to get out, get out. And I'm listening to them trying to get this man delivered. And I just yelled out, he needs to repent. See, the Holy Spirit was trying to get through to them, but they were not hearing God's voice. All right, they were focusing on what they were doing and that it wasn't working. And they looked at me and said, you know, basically, you don't know what you're talking about. And I said, he needs to repent. So as soon as they realized that I was saying that for a reason, they told him to repent. He started repenting. As soon as he started repenting, the demons were flying out of him. All right. They were leaving. So this is why I'm bringing this to you. If you want deliverance, and I mean you're serious about deliverance, you need to repent. All right. For the kingdom of God is at hand. So I'm coming forth with the word of God to you today and letting you know why you are stuck why you're not seeing miracles these are some of the things all right so why not right repent and see what god will do for you after the man repented and you know got rid of that awful you know entity or entities whatever they were everyone noticed a change all right the next day he came back to the house part and we're all there in the morning, you know, we'd show up a lot. So anyway, he comes in, he's singing, all right, and glowing. And I said, see? And one lady was still afraid of him. And I said, look at him. God has delivered him. Why are you afraid of him? See, she was living in fear of what someone can do to her. See, she needed to be set free. Right, so I said something to her and prayed for her to get her set free from the spirit of fear. Right, we should not be living in a spirit of fear. You get fear sometimes, right? But fear should be, you know, if um, you know your house is on fire, right? Fear to get the heck out, number one, right? Stuff like that. It shouldn't be you're sitting in your house and all of a sudden you're all afraid of, you know, something happening. You Stop it. Immediately stop it. Stand up or yell, whatever. You know, stop the spirit of fear from attacking you. Get powered up, right? Get on fire for God. Know who you are in Christ, number one. You have all that power from the Holy Spirit. Right, you bind the strong man, you bind Satan, you bind the spirit of fear and cast it out. You got the wrong address, you got the wrong person. Shut up, devil. Right, speak it out and show the devil who's in charge. Right, you're in charge of what's going on in your life, and I know that you don't believe that, but you are in charge of what is going on in your life as you believe you receive. It's in the Word, right? Think about it. If you're believing that the devil has power over you, right, it will show up in your life to, you know, make you, you know, seem like, you know, um, you're right, right? The devil will prove you're right, all right? So, prove him wrong. That's our goal, right? To shut him up, to kick him out, right? Where does he need to go, right? Where does the devil need to go in your life? Out, 
right, out. All right, so being on this channel, you should know how to pray. But if you do not know how to pray, there's Power Prayer Circle for you. All right, there's um, a group of us here, and we are in the Power Prayer. And I'm calling in you to come in and join us. All right, I'm going to put the link underneath this video. You click on the link and you join us. All right, you come into the Power Prayer Circle. Right, we're coming into a new month now, and you should be here with us. You should be here every single night and day and start praying, start learning how to pray. But do this stuff that I shared with you today, okay? It's not hard to do. Very simple. But it works. It's going to start helping you, and then you learn how to pray. So let's have that. Now the second part of this video here is as a man believeth, so is he or she, right? Now, think about the one thing, the one thing in your life right now, just focus on one, right, that is really troubling you, right? One thing, what is it? And you can take another piece of paper, stop the video. All right, this is an interactive video, yes. But I'm serious. I want you to do these things, all right? There's a reason for this, all right? So what are you believing is happening in your life? And why? All right? So write it down. An example. Right? I get many, you know, letters all the time, but we'll use an example here. All right? I am having this problem sleeping. Every time I go to lay down, I get attacked. And it's because I'm living with this family member. And I used to have this problem when I was a kid. It disappeared when I moved out. Now that I had to come back, it's back again. There's an example. Right? They believe it. So what do they need to do? Write it down. I believe. That because I'm living with so-and-so, I'm having this problem. And it's all their fault. They did this. They did that. I want you to write it down. Whatever your beliefs are. You that are having a financial problem, I want you to write it down. I'm having a financial problem Money's hard to get. My family had this problem. Why am I having this problem? I want you to write it down. All right? God doesn't answer my prayer. I've been praying for a long time. Nothing's happening. I'm very upset with God. All right, let's just pour our hearts out here. All right? Be totally open and honest. All right? This is what's going on. You can go to church, they can pray for you, you can, you know, do everything, and nothing works. That's who I'm talking to right now. Those of you where nothing's working, this is what you need to do. You need to come clean. And as soon as you do, your life is going to change. And it's not going to be overnight, but you're going to see changes happening. You're going to get your power back. You're going to get strong in the Lord. You're going to get powered up. You're going to get set free. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. God came to set the captive free. Through his Son. Right? And then when his Son gave up his life for you and I. They didn't leave us empty handed. Right? They gave us the power of the Holy Spirit. And it is no longer I that live, but he that liveth in me. Can you tell? 
Can you tell who's living in me and through me? Right? It's not me anymore. It is the Holy Ghost speaking directly to you, to your soul. Breaking through the very hardcore of you. Right? And saying, do this. And you'll see results. This is a free gift from God. Right? So why not do something that works? Right? Do what God says to do. Those of you with a financial problem, it's time to sow a seed. The link is underneath the video. Those of you that have been sowing seed, praise the Lord and pass the miracles in your life. And the people that are in the prayer group are seeing results. They are testifying. Right? Demons are leaving their life. Demons are showing up during prayer. They are manifesting themselves because they're coming out. They got to go. The more they pray, <laughs> the more the demons show up and start trying to fight, trying to stay, trying to hold on. But they got to go, right? And they know they got to go. Their time is up, right? So if you are experiencing attack after attack after attack, the enemy is on his way out. And he knows it, so he's going to start up, okay, acting up. So expect that to happen, all right? He's not going to give up without a fight because he wants your soul. So he's going to drag you through the mud, drag you through the dirt, try to cause you to get angry and give up on God, you know, lose your joy, all right? Stop praying, stop going to church, don't join the prayer circle, you'll get delivered, you know, all kinds of excuses will go through your mind why you can't do it. You know, that's the devil. It is not you. It's definitely not God. And it's not me. I'm telling you to do these things, okay? And get delivered from the demons. The next thing we're going to do, right? For those of you that are really, you know, ready. After you've done those steps, come back to the video. To this part here all right and get ready because there are demons in some of you there are demons clinged onto you parts of your body are sick or in pain there's a demon there it's either in or on okay there may be demons in your home and I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to tell you. Demons could be attached to your house on the outside. They could be standing in your driveway, keeping people away from your home. All right? Think about it. Okay? Yeah. So, you can't see them. Most of you cannot see them, thankfully. All right? You're afraid of something you can't see right now. You know, you're afraid of that thought you just had. You know, you're afraid to donate. You're afraid to pray, right? You're afraid not to pray. You don't know what to pray. That's why you're here. That's why the Holy Spirit brought you here. That's why I sent out angels to go get you today. That's why the angels grabbed you and brought you to this video. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe now and press the like button, right? So right now, we're going to pray after you've done those steps because we want it to work, all right? And I want you to come back to this video, so save it to your favorites, all right? Join the Power Prayer Circle right now, right now, right now. Don't delay. Yeah, right now to do it, all right? When you do this, remember... That God has instructed you to do so. There's no excuse at all for a Christian believer not to pray. Not to join together with other believers. Right? No excuse. If you got an excuse, I want you to write it down. I'm not joining Power Prayer Circle because. I want you to write it down. 
so you can see why you're not joining. Right? This is what we need to do. All right? Start taking mental notes of why you're not doing certain things. Right? Why you're believing certain things. Who taught you to do that? Where'd you learn that? Why you keep believing it? Write it down. Take note of it. And then start getting rid of it in your life. So you can have a better life. Right? And more miracles will manifest in your life. Take it from me. I know. Been there. Done that. Okay? As I say, worn the t-shirt. Right? Don't want that t-shirt anymore. But right now, for those of you that are fully engaged here and honest with yourself and with God, you're here for deliverance. You're here to be set free. All right? You've been asking God. You've been seeking God. You've been knocking. And God said, come and receive. All right? It's a free gift. Yes, you have to do some things. All right? Repent. All right? Forgive. Donate. Join the prayer group. And resist the devil because he will flee. That means ignore him. Ignore the devil. Right? When you're in the middle of prayer, the devil's going to come. He's going to start chitter-chattering. Causing you to lose your focus. Maybe causing you to get really tired and fall asleep. Right? Wet your face. And start praying. My dad used to do this to us. If we were playing a board game and it was a long time, believe me, he would keep us up all night. Play Monopoly. I don't like Monopoly. I never did. If you were falling asleep, we were little kids. Say, get up. Go get a washcloth, wet your face, and walk around the coffee table till you wake up. That's what we need to do then. Huh? All right. <clears throat> and my dad would always yell out, don't be afraid. And then one day when I was working with him, out of the blue, because some people were not liking me for different reasons, whatever it was, who cares. Out of the blue, he writes down on a piece of paper, if they don't like you, obviously there's something wrong with them. And he hands it to me. I didn't say a word to him. It was God. I still have that piece of paper now. And my dad is in heaven. So some of these things that you are worrying about have already been taken care of. But you don't know it yet. You don't believe it yet. Because you didn't see it yet. And some people will say, I'll believe it when I see it. It's not the way it works with God. It's the opposite. I will see it when I believe it. You will see your miracle when you believe it. You will see your breakthrough when you believe it. You will have your healing when you believe it. Right? By the stripes on your shoe's back, I am healed. This is how you need to talk. Hallelujah, God. In the name above every name, we come together in one accord, praising God. Praise you, God. Put your hands up to God right now. I want you to find a very comfortable spot. Do not move. Shut off everything that would interfere with this prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Praise you, Lord, and pass the miracles. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. May the power of the Holy Spirit manifest right here, right now. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Angels. Surround me now as I pray. 
I bind Satan and all satanic attacks and counterattacks. I bind Satan and all backlash and cast it out in the name of Jesus. I bind Satan. I bind the strong man. I bind every evil spirit, principality, power of darkness, spirits of the air, the land and the water, and the spirits under the land. And I command them up and out in the name of Jesus. I command every demon to be bound right now in chains and feathers. I bind that evil spirit in that person listening right now. The person listening right now, Father, has a demon. It's attached to them. It's sucking their joy. It's sucking their life energy. It's keeping them bound. It's harassing them. It's threatening them. It's causing them delay. It's causing them fear. It's causing them to stop. It's causing them to live in the past. It's holding them bondage and in slavery. It's imprisoned them. It stopped them from being blessed of you. Whatever that demon is, I bind it. I bind the devil. I bind the demon in you right now. I want you to bind the demon. I bind the demon in me right now. Say it. I bind the demon in me right now. And I bind you, devil. And I command you out in the name of Jesus. I command you out of me in Jesus' name. Devil, your time is up. Get out of me right now in Jesus' name. Get out. Come out of me right now and go to the pit in Jesus' name. Father, this person has a demon attached to them. The demon that is attached to them doesn't know but it's about to get off of them right now. It thought that it had them forever. They are no longer going to allow the demon to be attached to them. Where on their body is that demon? Where in their body is that demon? Be loosed. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. I bind that demon attachment you have. The attachment to the old, the past, the old story, the fear. And I command it out of you right now in Jesus' name. I want you to tell that demon to get off of you right now. I want you to get powerful and strong and yell. Devil, your time is up. Get off of me right now. Get off of me right now. Get off of me right now in Jesus' name. And don't return. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Get off of me right now. Get out of me right now. In the name of Jesus. I bind you and cast you out. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. And do not return. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus covers your deliverance right now. The blood of Jesus covers your mind. The blood of Jesus covers your ears. The blood of Jesus covers your face. The blood of Jesus covers your internal organs and your blood and your life force energy. The blood of Jesus covers every part of you right now. Every part of you, we are soaking you in the blood of Jesus. I want you to stand up wherever you are right now. Put your hands up in the air to God. I don't care where you are. I don't care who's there. It might be embarrassing, but you're getting delivered right now. Put your hands up to God. I don't care where you are. Go in the closet. Go in the bathroom. It don't matter. Get up on your feet. And I want you to stand up right where you are. Hands up in the air. Eyes closed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command your entire body right now to be washed in the blood. To be washed in the blood. 
from the outside to the inside, from the inside to the outside. The blood of Jesus is going through you right now. The blood of Jesus is going through your body right now. It's going through your entire person. Anywhere there is a dark spot, a wound, a trauma, a fear, a worry, a grief, an agony, a broken heart, emotional problem, an attachment to a story, attachment to other beings, other people, and their stories, feeling sad, alone, depressed, grieving, fearful, angry, frustrated, done, at it, all those dark areas of your life, they got to go. You ready to let it go? If you are, say yes, God. Some of you are refusing to let it go. But it's time to get rid of it. It's time, time, time to let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. I choose to let it all go now, God. Deliver me now from this madness. I bind the demon of madness and cast it out of you right now in Jesus' name. Return to wholeness right now. Return to your wholeness right now. Return to your state of being where you are whole and set free in the name of Jesus. I command it so right now. Let the powerful, holy light of God shine on you right now. Let the powerful, holy light of God shine on you right now. Shine, Jesus, shine. Shine, Jesus, shine. Hallelujah. I want you to start praising God right now where you are as I'm praying. Pray in tongues. Praise the Lord. Sing, whatever. Just keep your hands up to God right now. Eyes closed. The blood of Jesus, the light of God. The blood of Jesus, the light of God. The blood of Jesus, the light of God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Some of you have been playing with an evil merchant. I bind that evil merchant and cast it out of you in the name of Jesus. You've been playing in the devil's money. And the devil has you bound. You've been gambling. Wasting the money. That God has given you. To invest in the gospel. Some of you the lottery is your God. Some of you horses are your God. Some of you roulette and cards are your God. Repent. And get free from that right now. I bind the gambling spirit and cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind that gambling spirit and cast it out of you in the name of Jesus. I command you to come back. Come back into the right mindset. Peaceful mindset. A giving mindset. A donating mindset. A tithing mindset. We speak deliverance to you. You will no longer gamble with God's money. You will no longer gamble with your bill money. You will no longer be gambling with your life. Some of you are stuck in alcoholism and drugs. We bind that spirit of alcohol. We bind the spirit of drugs. And we command it out of you right now in Jesus' name. I want you to repent. If you are drinking alcohol, if you are doing drugs, vaping, medical marijuana, that's a drug, popping pills, you know, painkillers and all that stuff, we're going to get rid of that too. It's all emotional. Doctor gave them to me, I urge you. I need to take these, I got pain, that's great. We're going to get you delivered from that need to even have them. How's that? I'm not judging you. 
I'm getting you set free. There was actually an emotional experience that you had or a belief attached to an emotion that caused that illness, disease, pain, whatever. Okay? It adds up after a while and it explodes in your body. You're holding on to some kind of, you know, emotion from a experience that you had or it got passed down to you from, you know, family members. A lot of people in your family might have this situation, this pain, this problem. And somehow, you know, your emotional state was there and that thing jumped on you. So what emotion are you feeling about that thing? Go back to when it began. Think about what was going on in your life and then you can get, you know, set free. You can reach out to me and we'll, you know, work on that with you. My email address is here, you know. So Power Prayer is here for you. And I want you to join Power Prayer. Father, I bind all aches and pains and command them out of their body right now in Jesus' name. I command all the demons and the emotional demons to be bound and arrested by holy fire right now and sent to the pit till the day of judgment. Hallelujah. Some of you are swearing and cursing and judging. You're in sin. Repent for that sin. We all get angry, yes. We don't stay angry. We forgive. We let it go. Right? I bind all that. Gossiping, cast it out. I bind that spirit of swearing. And cast it out. I bind the attachment of anger to it and cast it out in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of judgment, judgmental spirit, and I cast it out in Jesus' name. It's time to get set free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. How are you feeling now? Some of you are feeling guilty. I bind the spirit of guilt and cast it out of you in Jesus' name. He without sin cast the first stone. Amen. We're all in this together. Right? Yeah. Your past is over. Five minutes ago is done. It's over. Can't bring it back. Who wants to? It's time to live in this moment right now. Father, I choose to live in this moment right here, right now. I thank you, Father, for delivering me. I thank you for setting me free. Right now, I'm going to walk in the praise and adoration, state of being that I am. I'm going to walk in the victory, state of being that I am. I am a powerful being. I am a child of God. I am set free. God set me free. And I believe it. I absolutely know it. And I believe it. And so it is. Amen. For those of you that have received a deliverance, I would like to know about it. What has this prayer done for you? Let me know. Let me know. If you know someone else who you love very much, who you don't even like or didn't like before the video, I want you to share it with them. Share it with your pastor. Share it with your friends, your family members. Share it with anybody you can think of that God puts on your heart today. Stay tuned for the next incredible life-changing video. This is what this channel is all about. And for those of you that will heed the call of God, go under the video, press the blue link for the Power Prayer Circle, and come and join us now. Come and join us now. Tomorrow may be too late. You need to Get prayed up. Stay prayed up. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you want to go to heaven, 
you'll break, you'll forgive, and you will praise God. No matter what's going on in your life, you should be praising God. You should be serving God. You should be donating to the ministry here. If you're not donating, why not? Why are you not donating? Write it down. I want to know why you're not donating. So I can get you set free from that. That demon doesn't want you to donate. Why? Why do you think the devil doesn't want you to donate? Why do you cringe every time a pastor will say, it's time to give your offering? Write it down, why you don't donate, why you don't give. What demon do you have? Mammon. Famine. Mm. Poverty. Lack. Where they come from? Holding you hostage. When God wants to bless your life, why won't you let God bless you financially? That's a question. When you get to heaven, God's going to ask you what you did with the money you gave you. Did you bury it in the ground because you were afraid? Did you hang on to it like it was the last amount of money you'll ever have in your entire life? Why? There's a roadblock there. We want to remove the roadblock so you can have a prosperous life. You can give out of poverty. You can seek God and His Word. He tells you exactly what to do. And if you're not doing it, that's why it's not working in your life. I shared with you on this video some of the steps to take. Now go back and start doing them. When you're done doing them, write it underneath this video. I did the steps. I did the steps. So all you got to write. All you got to write. And then pray with the last part of the video. And if you had demons coming out of you, maybe you were coughing, vomiting, shaking, burning, freezing, whatever, getting scared, that was the demons. Right? Sometimes you got to do the prayer over and over and over again. But it doesn't matter how many times it takes to get rid of that demon or those demons. Because sometimes there's legion demons, right? Grouped all together, right? They were attacking you for years and years. And every time you went out, you added some more. By the people you were surrounded with. By the fear you had. By the emotions you had. By the thoughts you had. Right? By the places you had to go to in your life. Like hospitals, nursing homes, cemeteries, right? Yeah. They're loaded with them. Sometimes you move into a house that's loaded with them. Sometimes you're hanging out with people, they got them. And yes, the devil goes to church. But the devil <laughs> will not stay where there's praise, where there's joy, where there's donating, where there's singing. The devil will not stay. Can't stand it. So, make your house and you. I can't stand it. <laughs> you know, environment. And some people, yeah, they'll leave your life because they can't stand it. That you're joyful. That you're prosperous. They want to know how you got there, but they don't want what you got. So, goodbye. 
right? Wipe the dust off your feet and continue on to the next place. This is what we have to do just like the Lord did, just like the apostles did, right? They don't accept you in your own family. That's normal, right? Normal. Because you have the light of God on you and they don't. And that's normal. I don't want you to judge them. I want you to forgive them. For they know not what they do. And then you come to power prayer and you learn how to pray for them. And suddenly one by one or ten by ten they start getting saved and delivered. And you don't have to say I told you so. At all. Just be thankful to God for setting them free. In today's video is a power prayer video for you. I'm looking for your name on my list here of the donators and I'm looking for your name in power prayer. Don't just donate once. Keep donating. Every time God blesses you with money, start donating here. Watch what heaven does for you. I know what God did for me. I know what God did for millions of people over the years here. It's your turn now. It's your turn now for a breakthrough. Hallelujah. This is a place where miracles are normal. God bless you and your family. The mighty deliverance arm of the Lord deliver you all. I'll see you on the next incredible life-changing video. Praise the Lord and pass the miracles.